to my distinguished colleague from the great state of California, uh, Representative LaMalfa. Thank my colleague from New Jersey for leading us here tonight and uh, the opportunity to speak on uh, several good topics here. So, um, well, tonight, uh, indeed, we passed a very important tax-related legislation that will be uh, uh, instructive in so many aspects of our society with uh, uh, investment, uh, job opportunities. Indeed, I think the tax bill we just passed probably was responsible for over 600,000 new jobs in the re research and development uh, tax credits, as well as uh, for small businesses that uh, are going to have the accelerated depreciation that is important to them for, uh, again, small business, farms, you know, for investing in equipment. But uh, one, of the, one, I, one of the things I wanted to dwell on here a little bit was that the importance of the disaster relief aspect that's in this bill that uh, also my colleague, Mr. Stubbe from Florida, was working very strongly on, and my colleague from uh, the wine country in Northern California, Mr. Mike Thompson, uh, helped us with is that uh, we've had a situation where fire survivors, uh, fire victims of so much uh, uh, destructive wildfire in Northern California and other parts of the West, um, in this situation here, their taxation on the settlement money they had with the utility uh, was deemed by IRS to be a taxable event. And so even though they're victims of fire, they've lost their homes and much destruction to their property, uh, the, the dollars that were coming for restitution from a lawsuit were deemed taxable by the IRS. And so this put out people to the tunes of tens of thousands of dollars of taxes that they really can't afford because they still have to uh, put their homes back in order and, and you know build new homes and, and all this. So it really wasn't intended as a taxable event in that sense. So this package included important pieces of that our original bill that got uh, uh, added as part of the tax package that will uh, make it where folks that have already unfortunately had to pay this tax because of the timing of things will be able to seek a refund. And we'll, we'll work with the IRS to make sure those refunds are expedited as best as possible, but prevent future taxation on that and other uh, disasters that have, have a uh, an award involved like that, East Palestine, Palestine and, and uh, issues in Florida. So uh, it's, uh, it's indeed a big success on that, as well as the other aspects of this tax legislation tonight that were uh, going to be helpful for boosting our economy, boosting small business and large business with investment and bringing over 600,000 jobs back uh, uh, to their country in a time that we really, really need that investment. We need that boost. So I'm uh, Indeed, very glad that uh, we were able to accomplish that here tonight and look forward to the Senate taking it up and the President signing that legislation expeditiously. What's important about this nuance is that um, it be done before the upcoming tax season, April 15th, some have to file March 1st, depending, and that uh, they don't get caught in that again, having to pay a tax prospectively for something they really aren't going to owe. So we need to get the language in place, the rules in place on that after the successful passage in the Senate and by the President's signature. So um, indeed, it was a great bipartisan effort, one maybe you don't always see that often around here, we need to see more of, and working both sides on that and, uh, and having that big success. So for the folks that were the survivors of the Camp Fire, the Zog Fire, the Car Fire in Northern California and others are gonna be affected your patience has been rewarded. I thank you for your patience and for working with our office and giving us the chance to get it over the goal line. And, uh, you know, I, I would have liked to see it happen much faster as well, but, you know, things have been a little tough around here. And uh, indeed, now we were able to uh, have success with this tonight. So a couple more steps, but I really strongly believe we're gonna get there. And so uh, this is gonna be great for those uh, not only disaster victims, but all Americans in the boost it's going to be for economy with the broad tax package. So very pleased to see it happen. With that, I yield back to my colleague and thank you for the time. Thank you. Um, Mr. Speaker, 